When I was 17 years old, I was watching the um, 2016 Olympics and I seen Shakur Stevenson fighting and I wanted to try that out. Young, I was playing football, baseball, basketball, but I never did boxing. But my senior year of high school, um, that's when I tried it out. And I um, went on Google and looked up boxing gyms, and I found a boxing gym. And then I went to Anthony Livingston, and um, I asked him, can he train me? And he said, yeah. I was uh, running a, a boxing club uh, out there on Manchester, and uh, Kenneth walked in, and. Uh, he was out serving the class and uh, I went over to talk to him and he told me that uh, he wanted to train to get into the Olympics. And you know, most kids, they don't ask about you know going into the Olympics. So that's how I knew it was something special. Most kids come in there, they say they want to learn how to box. He said I wanted, he wanted something specific. Some of these guys get into the sport of boxing at the age of eight. Uh, Kenneth got into it at the age of 17 and uh, he already took off. He lost against the kid his first fight and I knew exactly what it was and why he lost. And I told him the next time he meet this kid, he was gonna beat him. He, he trained really hard for it. He listened to everything when I had to tell him. And it was just straight textbooks. I mean, like he worked on everything that he had to do and he got the kid out of it. I trained three days out of a week, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Some days we would do cardio. Some days we would just work on technique. Or some days we would just, you know, do sprints or some days we just lose weight in order to make our weight for our weight class. I knew I had something special to, uh, when I first seen him spar. You know, you, you really can never tell a boxer until he get into the ring. You know what I'm saying? Uh, that, that tells a lot about a fighter. And uh, I had him sparring another one of my Golden Glove uh, champions, and uh, he did really well with him. And uh, that's where he won. Uh, he went off on the screen. Won, he won three uh, uh, local uh, Golden Glove championships. He was an outstanding boxer last year of the Golden Glove Tournament, and uh, he won the uh, Arthur Johnson um, uh, Tournament, and he was outstanding boxing on that Flash Johnson uh, Tournament, and uh, he just went on a tour from that. Golden Gloves is a huge deal. Uh, I mean, if you win that nationally, you win that nationally, I mean, your name is forever in the books of a Golden Glove champion. Everybody know who you are. And that's, after that, it's pretty much the last stage of the amateur sport. Uh, after that, most fighters do go pro after that. I have national golden gloves next year, so I'm gonna try to win that. And if I do win, I'm gonna see where it goes from there. And if anyone wants to sign me, I'll probably sign pro. In the next few years, I hope to see him pro uh, with the skills that he got and the, and the appetite that he has with the sport of boxing. Uh, I would love to see that young man uh, go pro. Uh, that'll be my first pro fighter, you know, since I've been in this game. Uh, but he has a um, a great potential of, of getting there. I know his limitations. I know I know he like I know his work ethic. His work ethic is a very very high Q. Um, he always wanted to know about boxing. He always listened to everything I tell him about boxing, and that's what makes him so successful because his his appetite for the sport of boxing is is very high for a young guy. I like to challenge myself by going up different weight classes, fighting the best of the best, um, using my skills. Um, I've only been fighting for three years, so fighting people that have been fighting for 10 years, that is a huge challenge. Boxing don't choose you, you choose it. Um, the sport of boxing, I mean, it's like the military. You know, um, it's, it's, it's one of the hardest sports out there. Um, people, I mean, you have to be affiliated in the sport to understand how hard it is. Um, I mean, it's mentally, physically, um, um, it, it, it can break you down. You have to be mentally, physically ready. Like, you can't get in the ring and don't know what to do. You have to be focused at all times. Boxing is a difficult sport. You have to hit to not get hit. I'm feeling tired. That's why you always gotta keep your hands up. Stay focused. Stay focused. Always get back up as a champion.